Have you ever used an amplifier that makes your signal stronger but doesn't flip it upside down? That's what a non-inverting amplifier does, it keeps your signal in the same direction but boosts it to a higher level. In this video, we'll explore how it works, what's happening inside, and how we can calculate its gain step by step. So, let's begin this simple but powerful journey into the world of op amps. Before we talk about the non-inverting amplifier, let's quickly remember what an operational amplifier, or op amp is. An op amp is a tiny but very smart electronic component that compares two voltages, one on the plus input, and one on the minus input, and gives a large output depending on the difference between them. If the plus input is higher, the output goes positive, if the minus input is higher, the output goes negative, but in practical circuits, we use feedback, that means part of the output is sent back to control the op amp's behavior, and that's how we get a stable amplifier. A non-inverting amplifier is one of the most common ways to use an op amp, the input signal is connected to the non-inverting terminal, the one with the plus sign. The output signal is connected back to the inverting terminal through a resistor network. This setup makes the circuit amplify your input voltage while keeping it in the same phase. That means, if the input signal goes up, the output also goes up. No flipping, no inversion. Let's take a close look at the circuit. We have two resistors, the feedback resistor RF, and RN, connected from the inverting input to ground. The input voltage goes directly to the non-inverting terminal. Now, the op amp adjusts its output so that the voltage at both inputs becomes almost the same. This condition is called virtual short, and it happens because of negative feedback, so the output keeps changing until V1 equals V2, that's the secret to its balance. Imagine applying a small positive voltage, say 1 volt, to the input, the op amp senses that the non-inverting terminal is higher than the inverting one. So, it increases the output voltage, as the output rises, part of it travels through the feedback resistor back to the inverting terminal. Eventually, the feedback voltage becomes high enough that the two inputs match and the op amp stops increasing the output, at that moment, the circuit reaches equilibrium, this continuous balance keeps the amplifier stable, smooth, and linear meaning it accurately follows your input signal shape. Now, let's talk about how much the amplifier increases your signal, that's called voltage gain, for a non-inverting amplifier. The formula is, A, V equals 1 plus RF by RI, that one means. There's always a direct connection from input to output, so even without resistors, the gain is 1. In that case, it's called a voltage follower or buffer, the output voltage equals the input voltage. But the circuit provides current strength and isolation, if RF equals R in, then A V equals 2. So a 1 volt input becomes 2 volts at the output, and if RF is larger, the gain increases more. Let's see this in action. Here's a 1 volt sine wave going into the amplifier. At the output, we get a 3 volt sine wave bigger but exactly the same shape. Notice how both waves rise and fall together, no inversion, no phase shift. This is why non-inverting amplifiers are perfect for applications where the signal's direction must remain the same, like audio systems or sensor readings. Now, what makes this circuit special? First, it has very high input impedance. That means it doesn't draw much current from your signal source, so it doesn't disturb it. Second, it has low output impedance, meaning it can easily drive other circuits or loads. And third, it offers stable gain and clean amplification all of this makes it ideal for audio amplifiers, sensor buffers, and analog signal processing. You might be wondering, what's the difference between inverting and non-inverting amplifiers? In the inverting amplifier, the input goes to the negative terminal, and the output is 180 degrees out of phase, but in the non-inverting amplifier, the input goes to the positive terminal, and the output stays in phase, so, one flips the signal, the other keeps it the same. To summarize, a non-inverting amplifier takes a small input voltage, keeps it in the same direction, and amplifies it depending on the resistor ratio. It's simple, powerful, and used in almost every analog device. From microphones and audio mixers to sensors and control systems, so that's how the non-inverting amplifier works. Clean, stable, and in phase. 
If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more easy electronic explanations. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.